Free market capitalism. In this type, prices for goods and services are determined solely by supply and demand, with no government intervention or regulations. It supports highly competitive markets and private ownership. Laissez-faire capitalism is an extreme form of it where the state's role is limited to protecting property rights. State capitalism. A system where the government dominates the economy through state-owned enterprises that operate as profit-seeking businesses. The state controls resources and market activities, acting like a massive corporation to ensure its own political power and profit. This includes managing national oil companies, state funds and public corporations. The government decides which sectors will grow. Possible examples include the former Soviet Union, modern-day China and Singapore. Eco-capitalism, a system where natural resources are seen as natural capital essential for wealth. It advocates using market-based tools like carbon taxes to address environmental issues. Profits are partially seen as dependent on environmental protection and sustainability. Authoritarian capital. An economic system where a capitalist market economy operates alongside an authoritarian government. It features private property and market forces but combines this with repression of dissent, limited freedom of speech and a lack of democratic elections or dominance of a single political party. Financial capitalism. In this type profit is pursued primarily through financial activities like lending, stock trading and investing in financial products like derivatives or bonds. It subordinates industrial production production to financial gain with banks, investment firms and hedge funds dominating economic decision making. Managing savings and investments becomes the main focus of this economy type which often affects politics and society. The term for this shift is called financialization. Mercantilism. A nationalist economic policy focused on maximizing exports and minimizing imports to accumulate resources and strengthen the state. It emphasizes government regulation, high tariffs and a positive trade balance aiming to enhance national power at the expense of rivals. It was dominant in Europe from the 16th to the 19th centuries. Anarcho-capitalism, a libertarian political philosophy that wants to get rid of the government or states and have a society where private companies handle everything, including law and order. In this system, governments are seen as unfair since they limit individual freedom and success, causing social and economic issues. People own and control property and disputes are settled by private security and insurance companies instead of the government. Everything works via free markets and voluntary agreements. Proponents of this idea point to historical examples such as the Republic of Cospire which was a state in northern Italy, Acadia which was a colony of New France in North America, Anglo-Saxon England and medieval Iceland. Social capitalism or social market economy is a blend of free market capitalism with social policies and regulation to ensure fair competition and a well Welfare state. While the market is mostly free from government price controls, the state provides services like social security, health care and labor rights. It's a middle ground between laissez-faire capitalism and socialism common in Western and Northern Europe. Crony capitalism, an economic system where businesses grow through close relationships with government officials benefiting from anti-competitive regulations, corruption or direct government favors like permits, grants or contracts. Success comes from businesses working unfairly with government leaders, not from honest competition. Oligarchic capitalism, in this type a small group of wealthy elites control both the economy and politics. They use their power to enrich themselves, prevent competition and maintain their dominance. This system leads to significant inequality and corruption with economic growth taking a backseat to the interests of these powerful families. Instead of a fair market, only a few elites can compete, often by corrupting politicians or buying out rivals. Entrepreneurial capitalism, often seen as the purest form of capitalism where small and medium enterprises dominate decentralized markets. It fosters innovation leading to breakthroughs like the automobile, telephone and computer, typically driven by individuals and new firms. This system emerged before industrialization prior to the rise of large corporations. Community capitalism. This approach prioritizes the well-being and sustainability of an entire community, whether a city, region or country. Exemplified by Kalamazoo, Michigan, it involves coordinated charity and business investment, focusing on key areas like local amenities, funding for local businesses, infrastructure, attracting talent and education for long-term growth. 
Corporate Capitalism A capitalist system dominated by large hierarchical corporations that control their production and prioritize maximizing shareholder value. These entities often wield significant influence over the economy and government policies. Big firm capitalism also takes advantage of economies of scale to improve efficiency. Advanced Capitalism A mature, deeply rooted capitalist system in a freedom-based society where a few large firms dominate. The state helps stabilize the economy, democracy legitimizes the system, and small wage increases key workers' content. Public opinion is shaped to support capitalism, reducing the need for force. It overlaps with concepts of developed countries, post-industrial societies, and financial capitalism. Welfare Capitalism A system where privately owned businesses provide welfare services to employees, often in collaboration with government policies. Unlike socialism, where the government controls and distributes most goods and services, welfare capitalism sees businesses owning these services and partnering with the government to offer benefits like insurance, maternal leave or childcare support. It's often associated with Central and Northern European models like the Nordic model and social market economy. Tech Capitalism A modern type of capitalism where big companies use new technology to make money from people's ideas and creativity. It focuses on constantly creating new tech, using digital networks and turning research into profits. Adherents of this ideology believe that technology and innovation drive everything, achieved through startups and private investors. Industrial Capitalism an early form of capitalism that emerged with the Industrial Revolution, marked by mass production, the rise of factories and the dominance of industrialists. It led to the decline of traditional crafts, guilds and small-scale production, replacing them with factory systems and a complex division of labor. This era saw the rise of laissez-faire economics, promoting free trade and competition and the development of infrastructure like railways and canals. Industrial capitalism shifted economic power from merchants to industrialists and laid the foundation for modern capitalist production, opposing mercantilist ideas like trade barriers and protective monopolies. Sustainable Capitalism This form prioritizes long-term sustainability, aiming to protect both humanity and the planet while maintaining economic growth. It challenges traditional capitalism by incorporating environmental, social and corporate governance factors into economic decisions, promoting a circular economy where resources are replenished rather than depleted. Key proposals include integrating sustainability into reporting and compensation, encouraging long-term investment instead of short-term profits, and redefining growth beyond just GDP. The goal is to create a system that balances profit with ecological and social responsibility. Progressive Capitalism An economic approach that seeks to balance the roles of markets, government and civil society to tackle social challenges. It supports government intervention to regulate markets, reduce inequality and invest in public goods like education, infrastructure and technology. By curbing the power of large corporations and ensuring that globalization benefits everyone, progressive capitalism aims to create a fairer distribution of wealth and power. This modern approach is seen as a middle ground between socialism and free market capitalism or neoliberalism, emphasizing both market forces and government responsibility for societal well-being. Subscribe to stay in the loop and watch our video on the different types of communism to see the differences.